Co, co dalej absolwentko? A czy maturzystko? Ono SG. SG? Tylko Warszawa? No. Nie wiem, słabo trochę, postaram się w tym roku coś. No tak, gdzieś dalej, nie? To grupa skąd jest? Także to jest firma jakaś. Firma. Firma. A firma się jak nazywa? A tam jest ze szkoły. Widzi pan Antonio Antonia Antonio wygląda, to jest szkoły. Antonio z waszej szkoły. A jakiej narodowości jest? Antonio, Antonio. Antonio, prawie jak banderas. Nie, 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 Perverse. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Very good. Tak? Co się robi? Byłem open as one to the teraz dasz tak to będzie tego dużo tego 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 za rok też będę potem. Grand Hotel to bardzo dobre miejsce pracy. Dobra, ale ja składam, jak sobie myślę sobie zarobię w wakacje. Teraz mi dzwoni do mnie. Pani, ja się uczę jeszcze. Chcieli, chcieli kontynuować współpracę, tak? No, może że, że przyszedł na, na rozmowę. Ja się pytam, jak to będzie wyglądało, bo przecież tam nie pójdę, skoro potem powiem, że nie, bo szkoda mojego czasu jej. No, 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 no. Nie gadaj z tymi sekretarzami. Dobra. Okay, to Myślisz? Yeah. Would you like to go look around? It's work. It's work. You gotta go. Can you? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. One small question. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the most important in business? In small business, middle business, big business, on cooperation uh, business? I think that uh, there's two critical elements. The first critical element is your people. Uh, so really making sure that you have the most talented people that you possibly can working for your organization. I firmly believe that if you get the smartest, most qualified, uh, most passionate people in a room together, you can really solve most any problem that you'll come across in business. The other aspect of it is obviously the organization itself, uh, the, the policies, the product, the manufacturing process. It's really being very good at what the company does. And I think they go really hand in hand with one another. I think the organization improves and gets better with the right people. And I think if the organization is uh, solid, then you retain and you find the best talent you possibly can. So I think that they really go hand in hand with one another. Uh, and I think that carries through small business. I'm a business owner and I'm self-employed. It's only me. Uh, all the way up through organizations like Boeing, one of our great sponsors for the program. I think that holds true that you have to have the right talent, mix of talent, uh, as well as a really established organization. Okay, and uh, you, your practice. Uh, what, uh, what do you want? <laughs> what do you uh, work? Work. Um, my job. What, yeah, do I, what does my company job. do? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, I own yes. a, uh, a training firm, and so I travel yes. around the United States training companies. How many years? Uh, I've been doing that for about four years now, and so I will train organizations on uh, management, leadership, and sales. Uh, and uh, your. Uh, um, your schools. Um, my education? Education, yes. I got my degree in human communication from Southern Oregon University, which is a four year university. On university the West Coast. In, in where? In the United States, in, in United Oregon. States. In Oregon, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, and then I was in the petroleum industry before that, and then I started my own company about four years ago. And your careers, uh, first to work, uh, uh, was uh, your, your firma, your, your um, job? Uh, Related to my education? Yeah. yeah. It did. After in education, you... I went into sales. 
and then uh, and then management. And it turned out that my degree was perfect for sales uh, because it taught us things uh, like negotiation, conflict resolution, small group communication, uh, interpersonal communication, presentation skills. So there was a variety of skill sets I learned in my education that assisted me in uh, sales and then uh, management as I moved throughout the, uh, through the ranks in my company and subsequent companies. And then, of course, all those skills apply for my own business as well. And uh, what's his goal with this training uh, in Poland? The goal of this program here, it's the exchange of ideas. We really wanted to bring a program from the United States that we've seen really impact kids in a variety of ways, both in teaching them different skill sets and as well as really giving uh, the American students uh, more self-confidence and more understanding of, uh, of business and what business is and how business is really applicable to all of us, even if the students don't feel like they want to go into business, understanding what business does for the economy, for, uh, for the people who do start their own businesses is really imp uh, critically important. So just sharing those ideas <laughs> and uh, letting the students see our perspective on things as well as us gaining the perspectives of the Polish people as well. So it's just the exchange of ideas between our two cities, our two programs. Uh, mm, uh, what, 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 um, weakness and advances, yes? I'm sorry? Uh, weakness and advances. Weakness and in advances? Uh, tak są plusy i minusy. Um, tak po prostu. Mm -hmm. Pros and cons. Oh, okay. Pros okay. and cons. Uh, pros and cons. Uh, Polish um, people. Polish people. Uh, you know the the pros of the Polish people. The thing that amazes me about the Polish culture is its resilience. Uh, this is my second trip back to Poland and learning more and more about the history every time I come here. It's unbelievable to me to see everything that your country has gone through and how well it has uh, maintained its cultural identity throughout that experience and how well the country has thrived through everything that it's been through. Uh, even from its most recent tragedy, of the horrible tragedy of losing your president, and just the the unity of your country, it, the pride of your country is outstanding. It's uh, about the Polish uh, men in job. Uh, you know, Polish... Polish uh, business people? Business people? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I can't answer that question fairly, because most of my interaction has really been with the kids. And so it would be unfair for me to answer the question about strengths and weaknesses of Polish business people. Uh, I just haven't had that experience. Difference uh, American uh, kids and Polish kids? And initially, there's a difference in that I think American students are uh, they're more talkative and more outgoing at first, and Polish students are more reserved at first. And what we've noticed is that throughout the program, is the students, Polish students, become more comfortable uh, with one another and with speaking English in the groups. Uh, they open up, and Polish kids are just as fantastic and amazing as American students are. And it's it's a absolutely pleasure to, to meet the Polish students because they're phenomenal in so many different ways. Yes. How many languages you know? How many languages do I know? Yeah. I know yes. one language. One language I know, only? I know, I, I know. It's, I know. So we, uh, I've had, I know a small bit of Spanish, but uh, Spanish, not, oh. not, not nearly as much as I should. Uh, uh, more, more, more uh, in, um, in the uh, USA. Yeah. Spanish, Spanish is becoming be, more and more important yes, in the United more States. Important, yes. Absolutely. It's uh, one of the things that impresses me so much about uh, so many of the people I've met in Poland is their, their grasp of multiple languages. And the students have such a phenomenal understanding of the English language. And the students who perceive themselves as being weak in English are absolutely wonderful at it. Uh, how many years this program uh, in the uh, world uh, and in Poland? Poland, this is our second year for with second Gdynia year. Business Week. So we were here last year. About half of us came back from uh, from last year. Uh, and then half of us, of course, are, are new. This is our first year. And then in the United States, uh, this year is the 35th anniversary of Washington Business Week. Uh, there is approximately 20 other programs in the United States uh, that are very similar to Washington Business Week and, and Gdynia Business Week. And then there's a program uh, in New Zealand, I believe, as well. Who is 
a great uh, sponsor program. Who's the greatest sponsor of our program? Yes. We have a lot of outstanding sponsors. Uh, it's the I would say from a volunteer standpoint and a financial uh, contribution standpoint, and Boeing is one of our huge sponsors. And uh, But we have many, many sponsors that we just couldn't do the program without. Uh, for example, we have a gentleman uh, by the name of Dan who's volunteering for us here, and he is a uh, CPA, a certified public accountant who owns his own business. For him to be away from his business for two weeks is a substantial, amazing contribution from his company, from his business personally. Uh, and then you see um, an offering like Boeing's where they give almost, I believe the number is 60 employees a year. They let go through the business week at all of the different camps, which is a massive contribution of their, their labor pool. So we have, without all of those different sponsors, we couldn't do it. But Boeing is certainly one of our larger ones. And then in Washington, we have a number of other uh, substantial partners as well.